the most dangerous prayer to pray, I'm going to share with you today in this video. Let's get into it. Let's dive right in. Please hit the notification bell. Watch this whole video to the end. Have you ever faced challenges on prayers? I want to ask you that. Leave it in the comment section of what's the most challenging prayer you ever had. And today's world, a lot of people pray and a lot of people pray with seizing. The Bible says do not pray with seizing. But I'm going to share with you the most dangerous prayer that you can pray. Think This is what's going to happen when you pray this prayer. Miracles begin to happen in your life. Manifestation on God's, be, uh, God's behalf that's going to happen in your life. You're going to have a supernatural you're going to be speaking supernatural. You're going to even look supernatural. You don't feel like, man, this don't feel right. I, don't, I ain't going to wear those tight jeans. I ain't going to wear those muscle shirts no more so those girls can look at me. Yeah, I, ain't, I don't feel like that no more. You'll be begin to be spiritually fit. Okay? And when God uses you, and the Bible says dedicated services. It says 12.1, Romans 12.1. It says, therefore, I urge you, that's urging you, that's pushing you, that's begging you. Man, I urge you, bro. Please go that way. I urge you, brethren or sister, by the mercies of God. What is mercy? A mercy is saying that God is giving you mercy like, it's okay, my son. You make mistakes, it's okay, but I'm perfect and I don't make mistakes. I will help you and I will take care of this situation, my son. Leave it to me. That's giving you mercy, his love unconditional. Okay, it says, therefore, I urge you, brethren, by the mercies of God to present. What's presenting? That's like a present to God. You're presenting your, it says, presenting your bodies. This is your body. You are a living organism. You're presenting your bodies and living and holy sacrifice. So that means you're presenting your body in the world living and then you're presenting your body in the spiritual realm also to God. It says acceptable to God. So that means that you have to be acceptable to God. What is being acceptable is saying that God Use me, use me for your glory, use me in a spiritual realm, use me up. I'm here, God. I'm here. Use me up. I'm gonna get on it. God, I'm accepting my body to you. Okay, and then it says, which is spiritual service of worship. Spiritual service. So that means it's talking back in the spirit realm, right? of worship what's worshiping worshiping is praising god giving god the glory you know even listen to worship music you sing you give yourself to god that is another form of serving god okay i just want to share those tips with you in this video and share with you dedicated service which is in Romans 12, 1 all the way to 2. And it says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay? Do not be conformed to this world. You got to be transformed. And if God's going to you, if God is going to use you, you got to be transformed. You cannot be into this world. Conform. Conform is confinement. That means that you're stuck. You're locked. You're comfortable. And I said it in my life that if you're comfortable, Satan has you. We're on borrowed time. You're not here to be comfortable. You're here to work for the kingdom. Either you can work for the kingdom. The Bible says you can only serve two masters. You can either work for the kingdom or you can work for Satan. So that is a dedicated service. And that prayer we're going to pray right now use me god that's it those three words use me god and he's going to change your life no enemy will not be able to touch you because god is you're you're letting god use you the enemy will not be able to touch you will not be able to inflict any temptation in your mind not harm you like in the book of job the book of job satan said can i touch job and say and god said no you cannot lay a hair on his head. You can do all you want to him, but you cannot lay a hair on his head. So when God uses you, Satan will not be able to lay a hair on your head. You'll be able to do supernatural things. Okay? Let's pray that prayer real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, Father God, 
I come to you with the humble request, Father God. And Father God, I praise your name, Father God. I'm thanking you in advance, Father God. In your son Jesus' name, Father God, use me for your glory, Father God. And Father God, we thank you. We lift your name high. We magnify you. We glorify you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Man, now doing that prayer, God begin to use you. You're going to come back to me in the comment section. You're going to say, hey, it's working. I did some supernatural things. You're going to have a supernatural breakthrough. You're going to be having a supernatural financial breakthrough, a supernatural healing. All things that are impossible to man will be possible to God after praying that. Thank you. Like and subscribe. I love you guys. God bless.